It's all about the weekend. This weekend, it's all about the FA Cup final. Now, Chelsea, you've seen the roll to the final. Frank Lampard's boys play out. 13th time record champions, Arsenal, in the FA Cup final. Both teams from London. It's a London derby that will be played at the iconic Wembley Stadium at exactly 7.30 p.m. Kenyan time for Ateta. It's all about saving the season and making sure that they qualify for the Europa League next season. However, for Frank Lampard. It's all about ending the season on a high, making sure that at least he wins his first managerial trophy as the Chelsea manager and also as a coach. A very good afternoon and welcome to Sports Finale. I'm Kevin Kimadu. We have a lot lined up for you today. We will be with me for the next one hour. 60 minutes of absolute bliss. We'll talk about our football. We will have an exclusive interview with the Malkia striker Seta Jen Washu. who will be joining us uh, in the next uh, few minutes. In a few, we will be talking to Jen Washu. As you can see, she's on standby and we will be talking to her in the the next uh, few minutes to find out what next for Jen Washu. But now we also uh, will have an exclusive interview uh, with FK Tirana's uh, Ismail Dunga, the first Kenyan to win the Albanian Premier League. And of course, as you know by now, is that uh, FK Tirana have qualified for the UEFA Champions League group stages qualifying rounds. He will be talking about his experience and also this prospect of FK Tirana uh, qualifying to play in the Champions League. We also get to listen in to Benjamin Aimba on the firing and hiring of uh, Shuja's coaches. Michael Kwamba will be joining us later on to talk about that. George Manyange also will be joining us to talk about the FA Cup. The NBA is back this weekend. Lakers getting a win over Los Angeles Clippers. But away from that, let's take a look at our trivia question. We are asking you, who do you think will win the FA Cup tonight? Now, as you know, Chelsea will be playing Arsenal in the FA Cup final that will be played at 7.30 p.m. Kenyan time. Twitter's at Kimathi Calvin 9 at Switch TV. Kenyan will definitely sample your feedback as we continue on with the show. Who do you think has a better chance of winning the FA Cup final? But now let's uh, get uh, delve direct into it. Let's talk to Malkia Strikers veteran setter. You all know her, Jane Wairimu Washu. She's in Seychelles in the country uh, at, at the moment and uh, we will be talking to her at this time. We are trying to look for her and uh, get to find out what next uh, for these Malkia strikers. Uh, Seta Nawashu, if you can hear me, how are you? Yep. Washu, if you can hear me, how are you this afternoon? I'm fine, thank you. And uh, how is Seychelles, you know, for the last few months, if they were living in an unprecedented times due to the coronavirus pandemic. How are things over there in Seychelles, here in Kenya? The surge of numbers, we're still witnessing the surge of numbers here. Um, by the moment, there's no corona here. Yes. But before there was, but uh, we are not training. Yes. We're just doing our own training. As for me, I'm doing gym work and like on a daily basis. Apart from gym, how have you been trying, you know, to cope up uh, with these times? You're not close with your family at this time because you're in Seychelles. You're also not playing. You're not really interacting with your teammates as much. How are you coping? Well, not so good. Because, uh, like, for example, adding weight. You may add weight sana. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> like, it's the first time in my life, yeah. say, like, uh, six months without playing or training. So it's yeah. too hard for me. It's definitely too Being hard, hard for you. But uh, there were some rumors that after this coronavirus pandemic hit uh, the world and brought the world of sports into a standstill, almost everything has been cancelled or either postponed or moved to the next year. Now, your dream for Olympics, there are rumors that you are... Uh, you know, contemplating retiring at this age, at this time. Is it true? Um, my dream was to play in Olympics because it's yeah. the only thing remaining for yeah. me to achieve in volleyball. Yeah. But depends. Depends with the body. How I will be by then or how will the coach see me by then? 
but we can still need my services after six well and good i'll be there be available we definitely know they'll all be needing your services. I mean, 15 years experience, it hasn't been an easy journey for you, though. How would you rate your 15 years journey uh, as a volleyball player here in the country? I mean, it's been an illustrious career for you. Um, I've done my best for the 15 years in the national team and also prison team. Yes. Um, what I will say, it's like I'm a sports lady. Sports is my life. So even if I will stop, I will still be in sports. Yeah. But I still have energy to help Kenya for maybe a few years to come. So we can confirm here on Sports Finale that you've shelved your retiring your retirement plans. No, that one I will uh, <laughs> say it when time comes. Okay. And uh, talking <laughs> but, about... Uh, yeah. Sometimes it depends with the coach. With the yeah. coach. If the coach see you already like expired... Yeah. You cannot do much rather than to step up. Yeah, you'll have to step up, but uh, you're nowhere near aspiring. I mean, they still need your services. And uh, let's talk about Olympics being pushed uh, to next year. How do you think that is going to affect uh, the team's, you know, preparations? Because already uh, Malkia strikers know they have qualified for the Olympics. This will be your first Olympics. Now, if you are in that team, how will that affect uh, the preparations? Because again, now this coronavirus pandemic, uh, it has really changed almost everything. You guys had already started the preparations preparations has affected a lot so far because uh, us playing club championship makes us to see individually how you performing or how your form is but um, like for example in Kenya no one is uh, training like we are not training as a team it's individual training we are not together it's a team sport not individual sport it's affecting a lot because uh, we don't know how our form is so far. So at the beginning of the year, I don't know how things will be. And again, by the next year, uh, there'll be young players joining the team. So we don't know what will happen. We're just waiting, but it's all our prayers because it's um, it will be the, our first time for all of us to go to the Olympics. Now, you've been one of uh, the longest-serving Malkia striker setters and also players. You talk about Olympics. You've played in the qualifiers for, for years now, almost three times. You've never qualified. But this time round, you guys have qualified. The first time that you will be playing in the uh, Olympics, how instrumental and crucial is that in your career as a uh, volleyball player? Because you've achieved almost everything. You've played in the World Cup. You've uh, shined with the uh, Malkia strikers international level, club level, but the Olympics, how much does it mean for you as an individual? Uh, in fact, I've played all in volleyball, world, world club championship, world cup, world championship, Olympics, uh, um, Grand Prix, yeah. all African games. It was only Olympics that was remaining. Yeah. So to me, it's a very important thing because mm -hmm. it's the only thing for me to achieve everything in volleyball. I have, uh, my my dream was to play professional in Europe. I did. I'm uh, still in uh, in Seychelles playing professional. So it's only Olympics that is remaining. I've qualified. I've been trying for three times. Now I'm there. I'm just praying God for Corona to end, mm -hmm. and we beat there 2021 to be among the teammates. And I mean, you look back at all your incredible achievements, but. Let me take you back to the young Jane Washu, like, let's say, 17 years ago. If someone told you you'll be where you are today, what would have been your response 17 years ago? Oh, God. I'll say no. Because <laughs> uh, I'm a born ghetto. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see this coming. For me, I knew, like, um, I'll be in sports, yeah. but not volleyball. Football, yes. Football and athletics. Because yeah. we are the ones I was doing in primary school yeah. but to be here like uh to go on a plane to have your own uh, cash your own stuff ah, no 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 i did not see this coming and how but was thank god and how was your switch from you you talk about playing football in your early years and uh running athletics maybe how was your switch how did you switch to volleyball specifically because from your own career you, you started with football a high school coach told me, like, your height 
and your potential it's not in football because yeah. football in kenya ladies don't do well so you better join volleyball because uh, in all sports i was doing well basketball yeah. football only netball i was not doing well but all other sports i was there but he told me like try volleyball maybe you, you never know your future might be there yeah. i didn't like but i had to do it so i forced myself so big up to him. Definitely yeah. big up to him and it's been a wonderful journey for you. But still talking about, you know, sports here in the country, talk about volleyball. Now, many of the times where you find our local athletes here uh, after retire, retiring and uh, maybe after getting injuries, you know, claiming that they don't, they can't really even uh, do much. They don't have uh, the financial capacity to move on with their life away from sports. Now, as a lady who's shined uh, in this sports industry, how would you say uh, some of the other athletes that you ta you've interacted with handle their financial literacy as a sport person? How do you handle your finances to make sure that uh, 20 years from now we don't come to cover Jen Washu crying that uh, she doesn't have anything to feed her family with? Yeah, I've observed that a lot since I joined sports. Yeah. I've seen like... Um, in volleyball, in boxing, like um, how they are after the they finish playing, yeah. they are treated bad. There's no one to help them. Like you understand, yeah. they don't have uh, a home to go to. For me, like uh, not apart from being a sports person, also a kiku person in <laughs> ghetto. Yeah, yeah. I I've tried to manage to do one or two few things for future yeah so that when i stop playing or i'm not coaching i'm just there i'm not in kenya prison anymore i yeah. have something aside like i will not depend with the government or people that's what i'm working on even here in seashells i will not be here yeah so that's what i'm trying to do not to have a life after sports and uh, just briefly, looking back at your career, your skill set, you definitely deserve to have won even much more than you've won. You may be, uh, due to your skill set, maybe you deserved even to win a, an Olympics, but you can't do that due to the national team that you've been playing for. If you were given a chance, and maybe we had that time machine, and you were given an option to be born in Brazil, in Kenya, or in some other country that has more success when it comes to volleyball, would you have chosen another country or you still, you know, do it the same way, Kenyan way? I love Kenyan way. Yeah. I love being African. I love being Kenyan. It's you... home. Maybe if I was Brazilian, I would never be here. Yeah. I would just be maybe on the street. You never know. Yeah. Because uh depend. Like uh, in Kenya, I was chosen because of how I was playing. Maybe in Brazil, I will not even appear in the first 12 in yeah. the nation. Yeah. So I'm happy to be Kenyan. And I will pray to be born as a Kiku Kenyan. <laughs> Definitely. But as we wind up now, today is the final of the FA Cup. Chelsea and Arsenal, which team do you think is going to win uh, the FA Cup today, tonight? <laughs> I'm an I'm a Arsenal fan. Yeah. You think you're going to beat Chelsea? I'm a big fan. I don't. I, I'm 50-50. It's my team, but yeah. Inshallah. And now, Arsenal go. and now, in just uh, 10 seconds, to the young ladies watching you out there, to the young ladies that have been inspired by Jane Washu, they want to be a strike and shine in whatever they are doing, just like you. What's your message to them? Never give up, mm -hmm. and don't just sleep and wait for God. God helps those who help themselves. So wake up and try something. If one is not working, try the other one. Try to get help from people. Don't just keep with your, keep your pride and you cannot try help from other people. Wake up and try. Definitely wake up and try. Thank you so much, uh, Jen Washu, and we'll definitely wish you all the best. And we're hoping to see you back here in the country uh, when uh, the Malki Strikers start uh, their 2021 Tokyo Olympics uh, preparations. You've heard it from her, the Malkia Strikers veteran setter, saying that uh, she's not planning to retire anytime soon. She will definitely give, be giving herself a chance. One more last dance with the Malkia Strikers uh, when it comes to Olympics. But now, away from volleyball,
Let's talk football. As I told you, Ismail Dunga, a Kenyan international, former Tasca player. You might know him uh, from that. Um, won the Albanian Premier League with FK Tirana and qualified for the UEFA Champions League group stages qualifying round. I spoke to him and uh, here are some of the questions that he had to answer about the experience of playing in the Albanian League, the Zambian League, and also the prospects of FK Tirana making it uh, to the UEFA Champions League. Hi, my name is Ismail Dunga. I play for Albanian League for FC Tirana. Kwa saidi yangu kwa mkenya wakonza ku in Albanian League, I think uh, ni, ni fiti sana kwa angu, na pia ku, for, my, for my career and my, my CV. And I'm looking forward to see what's happening next. My season with Tirana, I think uh, for my side, Haijakuwa mbaya sana na pia haijakuwa nzuri sana kwa sababu tukianza league everything it was okay until the time that nikapata injury Tirana ikanitibu for the 6 months so I've stayed out for for 6 months because I was having a problem with ligament but I came back and kendelea kucheza experience with Tirana mpira huku sio mbaya sana but uwezi kukompea liki kama yetu na liki kama za let's say in Germany or Holland so it's there's, there's kind of different but the experience simba everything i think is okay for me experience to play in uh, Champions League qualification so tuna hope to kwe to lucky the football sometimes is lucky to win some games football is lucky so to make it in the next stage you never know because this is this i think from this team is the is first time for for so many years to play in a champions league qualifiers so we are looking forward to see for the challenge to compare premium league ya zambia na kenya na albania i think nime play zambia zambia wanapenda sana kukimbia sana hiyo ndio kitambua nime experience but football there, I think right now, is more competitive than Kenyan Premium League, for sure. Because ni mecheza hizo ligi zote. But to say, Kenya, Kenya not on bona jiwa bol sana. So not on bona kimbia sana. Yendo kituneza sema tu. For me, the, the team is going to win the FA Cup between Arsenal and Chelsea. It's very easy for me because I'm an Arsenal fan, so... Definitely, I'm going for Arsenal, for sure. Yeah. Today I seem to have a luck with Arsenal fans. I mean, you talk about Jane Washu, she's rooting for Arsenal to win the FA Cup. Talk about Ismail Dunga, also an Arsenal fan. And we also actually have another Arsenal fan here, Mike Kwambo, who will be talking to <coughs> us about uh, the FA Cup final. And of course, uh, we will also be engaging him uh, uh, to listen in to the sentiments that our former Kenya Sevens head coach, uh, Benjamin Aimba, had to put out there uh, in, uh, talking about the firing and hiring of coaches. Now, we take a short commercial break but when we come back we will be joined by Mike Kwambo talk some rugby action and also the FA Cup final who's going to win the FA Cup final interact with us uh, via social media handles at Switch TV Kenya on Twitter at Kimadi Kelvin 9 you can uh, SMS at uh, via double two triple nine and we'll definitely sample your feedback